We are building a one-of-a-kind supercar based off of a Porsche Boxster that we got for only $500. We're pulling inspiration from 1960s legends like the GT40, Lamborghini Miura, and more. Last week, we finished up the tubing on the front clamshell. Now we're going to figure out the front radiator and more in this week's episode of Project Jigsaw. So last week we got the whole nose tubed. Major success, we got a big step forward. Now we have a new problem, our front radiator. We removed the radiators that were there because they didn't clear the body. Now we're gonna mount a new and bigger radiator in the middle. It will still have to clear the body. Oh, weird how that works out. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's a couple <laughs> problems here with that. The uh, front tub here is the original chassis of the car. And we kind of want to retain as much of that as possible for structural reasons. But we also need to also have airflow. The idea is to have the air go in the front of the nose, through the radiator, and up out the back of, we'll call it the hood, but it's really a clamshell. And to do that also efficiently. But there's some challenges here. One of them being the fact that the back of the tub here we cannot cut out because there's suspension behind it in the gas tank. And the other thing is this stupid thing right here. The brakes, you mean? Yeah, we don't need that. We can delete that. Because <laughs> that kind of impedes a nice flow. What we're thinking is we might cut more of the tub out than we initially thought so we can move the radiator up as far as possible to have a longer curve in the back. Yeah. And we might have to box around the old uh, master cylinder there, but we'll see what happens. Yeah. Basically, we're going to have to modify a lot of things, which is what we like to do on this channel. So that's okay. So first on the agenda is to cut the things out that are in the way. That's my favorite time. Yeah. Where's the salsa all at? <laughs> we hide that from Ryan when yeah. we're not looking. You think if I come down like that, stay off that bulkhead so we're not going to touch that. And they just go straight across here, across the bottom. Your cap was not on. <laughs> I went to well, pick it up by the would, cap and just pulled well, it yeah, off. No. Yeah, it doesn't really fit. That's why it wasn't I'm on. I'm going to put it back here. Fun fact. We don't even need a rat cap on here because we, it's in the back of the car. So I think we're gonna cut that off anyway for more clearance. More but clearance, yeah. We'll cross that bridge later. I have more important things to cut right now. Battery's dying. Cut off wheel. But we're so close. Look how close it is. He gave up too soon. Uh. He did not finish well. Now the cutoff wheel gets all the credit. Yep. All right, let's put some cardboard across our core so we're not beating up the fins. While They're already we, a little beat up. I, well, I know. We didn't even use this thing yet. It's not even Well, us. we put it in there, so I didn't look at it closely to see whether it was like that <laughs> before. It's all but, your fault, Tony. Yep, it's all my fault. And we got nowhere to lean it, It'll just fall out. We have the air. Let's put the uh, clamshell back on for the fifth <laughs> time today. Okay. He's got it. Get the hang of this. I know you wanted to uh, put cardboard on there to keep it safe, but yeah. it looks so much less cool now. It will look so much less less cool with a bunch of fins all bent up. Nerd. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we don't cut those corners out, we haven't done ourselves any favors at all yet. <laughs> yeah, there's these corners back here of the tub are kind of in the way. I don't know what that mark means, Tony, but... You don't read ancient Egyptian? Nope. Is that the ancient Egyptian mark for aluminium? <laughs> yeah, that's where the aluminium was contacting. That'll work? I think so. It looks nice. It's I a mean, really weird if shape you don't now. look at the edges, yeah, it's a weird <laughs> shape, but we were trying, we were to, trying to avoid these. Yeah. Because they are very structural. 
And probably will need reinforced, maybe. Yeah, as know. we, yeah. We'll, was, we'll, we'll cross that bridge eventually. <laughs> like I've said before, if you're not totaling a car, are you really modifying it? Ah! No good? Well, I'm just still running in here now. We can go straight, straight down, down. Let's go straight in. down. Yeah, yeah. Just take, take the, yep. the yep. Salsa might be charged enough now to at least go straight down. Like how we have one battery for the Salsa. I have a whole bunch, they're just at my house. Well, that's not gonna help us. It helps me at home. Does it? With uh, what? My home projects. Wh like what? Like all of them? Like which ones? <sighs> Finishing up my steps. Wh when did you work on that last? Maybe last Saturday. Oh man, I thought I had you cornered. Yeah. Your wife's watching this, so she can confirm or deny <laughs> my yep, allegations. Wa yeah, wa watch in the comments section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Become the test fit the radiator show. Yeah. There we go. Now it's fitting. Yeah, we're hitting here now. Let's just hammer it out a little bit. Oh, I got this. First person hammered mode. Let me move the radiator first. No. Why? So you don't hit it. How, how am I gonna hit it? It's like On back, the back there. Swing. It's a side swing. Yeah. Better? Yeah, I mean. There's a hammer. There's a way, Tony. The pile of parts is growing. It's so light. That's why I'm not helping you, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Well, someone's got to film you. <laughs> well, but definitely can go forward now. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of good. Yeah, I don't think we're getting any more than that. No. Like I said in the last video, this tail's gonna get changed so it can be horizontal to the car. Do that something. should work. Yeah, I think so. It also looks like... really aggressive, which I like. Yeah, that looks really cool. Now it's looking like a race car. Yeah. Yep. Now this is pod racing. <laughs> I'm just thinking if we want something to mount the, you know, the top of it too, we need like some kind of bulkhead. I mean, it could be a combination crash beam and rad support. The original crash beam bumperette style thing would bump here. They had these like hydraulic like absorbers that would go in here. We could make flanges that bolt to that with tube that comes out straight and then runs across the front plane right here. They double as a crash beam and we can build out further from that if we want, uh, if we want to have like a more of a cage thing. But uh, then we have points we can make. Take it right here. For our upper rad support. For rad support, yeah. Yep. Two and one. Better yet, we'll just use the uh, factory bumper shocks. I forgot we had those. And we can hang our rad support off of that and. Yeah, we go between them. Yep. It's like, it's within the tolerances of the clamshell. These are actually rated for an accident, which is nice. Our yep. tubing won't be, but whatever. <laughs> um, but we'll have the tube go straight across there. Then you can build off the tube to the bracket for the radiator. Perfect. Not to interrupt you, Tony, but I think our aluminum's here for the uh, skin of the car. Nice. Tony. Yeah. This is this is what eight hundred dollars of aluminum looks like. Pretty uh, <laughs> pretty measly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Most of that's wood. I know. <laughs> Just cut the tape off, Tony. Uh, I like to leave the tape, but I gotta cut it off. No, because if you leave the tape, then you have to peel the tape off afterwards, and if you melt tape to metal, it's a pain in the shit. So our idea here is to uh, interface to these bumper shock absorber 3000s with this box tube, cut it off, put a hole through it, then put tube between them as a tie bar for the radiator. And then uh, we'll also have a little bit of crash protection too. The rule number one of uh, not getting injured in an accident is just don't, don't wreck the car. Yeah, don't hit anything. We, we, just, we just won't hit anything. That's how we'll get around that. Snug fit. 
Might need to uh, grind that a little bit more. Or leave it snug. Not so snug. <laughs> Maybe we can take some of the snugness from that side and put it on this side. We take bikini bottom and move it over there. About there should be good. So we punch hole, punch hole, same on the other side. Then we tie them together. Nope. <laughs> Tony, we don't use Sharpies in the shop. That was a good Sharpie. No, there's no such thing as a good Sharpie. <laughs> the only good Sharpie is a dead Sharpie. They're good for paper and stuff. No, ink cells are good for paper and stuff. Ah! There it is. Big bug. There you go. <laughs> Man, this steering wheel is super uninspiring. I really wish we had something to replace it with. I'm sure we have something laying around somewhere that we've been holding on to for a very long time that could fit this car. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sand in my face. Yes. There it is. We cut the bottoms of these uh, strut ends so we can move everything upwards to keep it out of the way of the uh, air intakes for the front of the bumper and get more clearance in general. This is a hammer. And because it's my wrench. At least it's, it's your, a, yeah, yeah, it's, it's your it's, hammer. It's, it's my wrench, so. Trying to get it kind of square. It's Wait. literally 750 exactly right here. Measured off this base here. We're square. I think we're ready. You've been square for a long time. Hey, I have no comeback. I wonder how many times we can put this clamshell on in this video. In this video, oh, I was gonna say, in this video we could try and guess. Overall, yeah, like a million. <laughs> Man, isn't that repeatability great? It is, it's awesome. I mean, that's, that's what you need for something like this. Uh-huh. We gotta figure out where we're gonna put this. Yeah, so what's next is we need to figure out the back brackets so it can sit against that, because the idea is to set the radiator in against those, push it forward, and then have brackets that bolt here and here. All right. I tag you in. Tag me in, all right. Here we go. Are you good? No, oh, I thought you were just, <laughs> just like bumped your elbow on it. <laughs> I 
Bend it right in the middle of the hole. Yeah, make and, it easier. Yeah, and then we'll just cut it off wherever that ends up. No, we don't have a press brake, but we do have a big <laughs> hammer and a vise. Black ink saw on the black paint works real well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why don't you put some tape on there? You can leave the tape on it so you can peel it off later. That's a good idea, I'll it's do that. favorite thing to do. Yep, it is. See how it fits. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Just tack the uh, bottom brackets in place with one tack each just so we can tweak them or rip them off if we hate them. But I think that'll work. Yeah. I think we should probably set the clamshell on it quick. Yep, yeah, that's a good idea. There we go. All right. Fits underneath it. Looks like it fits pretty good. Minus the adjustments we're gonna to make to the top of the radiator, I think we're good. Yeah, that really looks cool. Except for the cardboard. Except for the cardboard, yeah. Onto the top brackets now. You're getting really good at that, Tony. Yeah, practice makes perfect. Or progress, you should say. <laughs> practice makes perfect. I hate progress. that phrase. What, what do you hate? Practice makes perfect. Uh, how do you... It's not, it doesn't make perfect, Tony. It makes progress. You can't I, expect perfection from right. practice. Yeah, that's true. But you can expect progress. Yes. But I like that. So in the same kit of radiator brackets, we have these uppers or lowers or whatever they are as well. Obviously these brackets are very basic. However, they're good bases to work off of. So I have an idea here. What I'm gonna do is take this bracket, lop the tail off, or go on top of the radiator here, and use the tail to go to the top of the tube, nut insert that, fold it in, and that'll be our uh, mounting. That should be basic and straight to the point. Hold it in place, which is what it needs to do. Exactly, so rather than talk about it, let's be about it. Was multiplied. Hey, be nice. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. So we're using our failed bracket as a shim for the radiator now? Yeah. Why let it go to waste? Nice repurposing. Mm -hmm. Just like that. I'm gonna copy and paste the other one first before I weld these. Tony, why did you put this on like this? So you can see it like that. Oh wait, oh, I can't get it out. Yeah, yeah, you can get it it's out. It's like one of those puzzles you have on like a coffee table. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm really good at this I know actually. what you mean. I love those. I don't believe you based on what I just saw. If there's anything anybody ever wants to send me, it's those coffee table puzzles that have like two like pieces of metal or something like that. I love those things. I think you just reshape the metal to make the puzzle work. Well, I'm like a metal bender. Right, that's what I mean. Cause I think there are metal benders in Avatar. No. I don't actually know. Were they like- I, I'm would, not a big would, Avatar person. Would the so. earth, would the earth benders be metal benders? Or is it just I mean, like rocks and dirt? Probably, cause if water benders can bend blood, there and that's go. a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Now we space this out with foam to like, you know, keep it from slopping around. I uh, 
realize I might need to cut my tab a little shorter, but we'll deal with that after I get my holes here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rib nut to the tube here for mounting the tabs. If you're not familiar with rib nut is, it's basically a rivet that's also a nut. Self-explanatory. Well, good, the plug came out. <laughs> It's a little loose. The next size down rotor brooch is too small. Are you sure? Yeah. Let's crimp this first and see what happens. All right, good idea. Before I do the other side. Yep, I have it backwards. Wait, do I have it backwards? I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm backwards. Just read the instructions. No. <sighs> Holy cow. Am I doing this wrong? I feel like you are. I feel like you are. No. I think it's just really hard to do because they meet. It's going. I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. What, what? you got there? <laughs> Nothing. There we go. As it's going backwards, you'll have that nice and square. I think it's enough. the radiator. Did it work? Yeah, it looks good. Oh, just for the record, I don't have foam on this side. Oh, well that makes sense why it suddenly fit right. well. I couldn't get to it because you were messing with it when I had the foam. I think it'll be okay because... How's that side work? It's nice because it's snug because of the foam. And yep. I'll push it down a little bit, then I'll tack yep. it. I wasn't sure how to ground to weld this because there's no painted surface, painted surface, this is floating. So, took the paint off that, set on the rev nut. Should ground through that okay. And I can weld it. I might have to do the old armpit trick. For when you need three hands, the armpit works. There it is. I melted the foam a little bit. Should work. Can you just change the angle of that a little bit? This way. There you go. That's better. Huh? Huh? There you go. Huh? Who put those boards there? Do you want satin black, you think? Sure, I like satin. I like satin. It's also because I don't see the gloss. Gloss, so. right. <laughs> well, we mostly have satin for the reason that we like it. Exactly. What are you doing, Tony? Uh, just confirming what I thought this size was. So we can box this in at the end. Uh, it'll make this much stronger if we box that in at the end and it won't weigh much more and it won't take very long So we should do it. I was already sold before we even started talking. So you don't you don't have to convince me Oh, we can weld that. Oh yeah, just tap that in. Just tap it in.
The radiator is now mounted at an angle that fits underneath the clamshell. It's isolated, we have a crash beam now, it's all capped off, that's all good to go. What's next, however, is to figure out how the air is going to jet out the back here and flow nicely over top of the clamshell. So we're gonna jump on that first thing next week, and then I think after that we're gonna jump on skin. I think it's finally time. The aluminum's here, we'll have our footprint for that. Yeah, we're gonna do skin after that, so. Is that a promise? Nothing's a promise. We, yeah, we don't promise. No, we, we can't promise anything, because <laughs> as you know, when you build a car, things come up and you have to keep redirecting. However, I can promise we are very close to starting the skin on this car. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. This video has been paid for and sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform designed for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, sell products, and more. All in one place on your own terms. Check out the link in the description down below to save 10% off your first website or domain with Squarespace.